What up y'all, it's your boy JPE and today I'm doing a fire shoot at Coney Island with some amazing people and I want to show y'all the behind the scenes. I think it's around 7.55 a.m. right now. I woke up feeling blessed today. I just wanted to share my thoughts on your frame of mind and sometimes when you wake up, you know you start having doubts about different things, when, whether if it's your job or your environment, friendships, but always remember that you are an asset anywhere you go. And any room that you walk into, you provide value in some type of way. You might not think that you have any talents, you might not think that you're good at certain things, but there is that one thing that you're very good at and it's very important to tap into your superpower. It's so easy as adults now to just have this mentality that you know we're wasting time and we can't have fun. But a lot of times, yo, when you spend the time to tap into your inner child, like I always say, and you focus on the things that make you happy, you will start to find other areas of your life improving as well. First, hello, hello. How are you today? Oh, we good, we good. It's a bright sunny day, bright summer. We got a bunch of friends and folks out here on Coney Island today. We're gonna do a shoot. And Justin and I, it's been, it's been I think, nearly three years since yeah. the last time that we were together. I met Kathy on a Joey Badass shoot with Paco Rabanne. I was styling. I was styling and assisting the shoot, and then I just connected with a whole bunch of cool people, and now you just connect with people. That's why it's really good to network with people and make sure that you speak to people and, and you know, just take advantage of the opportunities because you never know how you can collaborate with somebody. Yeah, for sure. And honestly, I'm here. I'm here just for a week. I'm coming from London, going to Vancouver literally later, like in eight hours. And But Justin has been posting all his work That's on Instagram crazy, so yo. much. So. I appreciate yeah. you coming out oh, you know, to do this. Yeah. You didn't have to do it. You could have been spending the rest of your time just chilling. Oh man, no, we gotta <laughs> keep going, keep creating, Word. you know? Do you model often too? Um, yeah. But I mostly focus on food. Mm. That's like my yeah. passion. Okay. Yeah. That's why. But modeling is cool too. Yeah, yeah. I love clothes and I love fashion, yeah. so like, I'm already interested in it. Oh, what I'm doing, I'm trying to have a different approach with fashion too. Right. I was gonna say, are you? In this industry, still like you said, it's cutthroat. Mm -hmm. People are so stuck on like the traditional ways of it. Right. But there's not really any rules to this shit no more. Right. Like, I don't have to just, okay. you know, make clothes and just like be so structured. I want to have fun with this. So. Structure a little bit. If we have those um, that work out area right there where there's a whole bunch of plants oh, and stuff. Shit. You can stand on that and have okay. it. Yes, no, that, you know what? That almost might be a little bit better. Yeah, I think this, so too. That might be a little bit yeah, better. Yeah, this weekend, yeah, they have their whole set up. Yeah. Oh yeah, they, they're, they're housed there now. I haven't been here in so long. I didn't even know that this was here. Yeah. Yeah, so I think, um, yeah, we're gonna start on the beach here. We're gonna, Coney Island, we can't really go inside because they need apparently like two million dollar insurance. What? Have, I know. Um, because once the are in operation. So what we're gonna do, I think we're gonna do beach first and then we might do some stuff along in here. And then there's a hot dog and candy store that yeah. we're gonna go to. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, um, get ready to have some sweets. We <laughs> game that uh, party stuff today. And uh, so I kind of wanted to just start because I think a lot of, for a lot of us, it might be the first time meeting. And so I kind of just wanted to start uh, with a little ice finger. Yeah. Um, so we all know each other's names right now, I think, but we can go around again. I'm Kathy. Chelsea. Mom. Dakota. Jeff. Yes. All right, Justin and Belina. Belina, Belina. <laughs> and so I kind of okay. So since we're all coming together the first time, I kind of wanted to start off with just a icebreaker activity, and for all of us to figure out what is the like one thing that we all have in common with each other. Mm. The one thing, and so yeah, we're people of color. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's true. We're people of color, and I have siblings. Does anyone? I, got I siblings. have siblings. I have siblings. Yeah. I have siblings. Oh damn! This is too easy. I grew up only child, but I got siblings on my oh, pop yeah. side, so that's the count. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is too I'm easy. Only, only sisters. Only sisters. Okay. I got a brother. I have one sister. Mad brother. Wow. Okay. How many? How many siblings do you have? Eight. Ooh. Wow. Shit. Yeah, I got a wow. big ass brother. Eight. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> a big yes, party. Damn. <laughs> Damn. What? What? Like? What rank in sibling number? Group? I'm like I'm the second youngest, and then that is it, my sister. That's it. Wow. Oh my yeah. God, second youngest. Sheesh. what about you? I am the youngest of three other siblings. Wow. Are you the only girl? No, it's three girls and one boy, but my brother's the oldest, and we're all two years apart, so. Wow, It's okay. like my parents plan two years. Yeah. <laughs> Every two years. Nice. Oh my God. All right, that was too easy. I feel like we need to find one more, one more thing. That is true. That is true. You said what? We're all creators. Oh. That's a fact. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Does anybody do like anything else outside of like acting, modeling? Ooh, I cook. Ooh. I cook, too. I like cook a lot. Yeah. Okay. Well, nice. That is nice. You cook Are you guys also? baking or like baking or cooking? I love cooking. baking. I love cooking. cooking. I want to get I prefer baking. cooking. Yeah. But baking is cool too. Okay. So, like, How about you, Kathy? Oh, I Chinese food. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. You do. Yeah, I had some of your food. I remember oh, that. Tr oh my gosh. On the shoot, it was so Guys, good. Guys, the music wow. video that Chelsea and I met on, it was literally a thousand dollar budget. We had like, yo, I managed, okay, 10 person, 10 person cast and crew. I managed to do catering for breakfast, lunch, and crafty, a hundred and ten dollars. Wow. Because I freaking cooked. Yeah. <laughs> we had a call time at 7.30. I oh stayed up till 5.30. Oh my god. Yeah. Our last right, shoot night, we left at like five. Oh god, six. it was insane. And then I had another shoot 9 a.m. the next day. She this killed us though. Oh, she to have a cooking show too then. Oh, yo, I'm uh, doing uh, a whole uh, hop uh, Like the day before I flew that's, here. That's what you do on TikTok. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, mm, I know, maybe that's the you actual. You got the personality for it too. Yeah. <laughs> you you really do. Screw film. I mean, <laughs> you need to get the camera. <laughs> yeah, you film your own Dude, stuff. I know. Come on. All right, career change. Crazy transition. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. All right. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You guys. I guess. <laughs> oh man. She's like, okay guys, we're just gonna oh, do a couple Yeah, it's actually a war. <laughs> <laughs> and then five coming down. <laughs> Alright. Okay, alright, now we go. Now we go. Where did they come from? What? <laughs> Wait, what just happened? <laughs> I know, right? It's like we leave one yeah, place and just figure you guys out a little bit. Yo, we're having so much fun right now. <laughs> and it's just, we, my brand is about tapping into our inner child, so we just literally playing on a photo shoot. And some companies and some brands will tell you stop joking around, stop laughing, but yo, we having fun and just connecting with each other, getting in tune with each other, being in nature, on Coney Island by the water, so. <laughs> look at this. Oh, y'all look like on a train ride. That is so cute. What's up, y'all? I'm here with Chelsea right now. Hi. Tell them what you do, what your dreams and aspirations are. Just want to highlight different creators on the channel. I love that. I love that. My name is Chelsea Diane. I'm an actress from Brooklyn, New York. I sometimes model. And today I'm modeling with Justin. Facts. Y'all gonna see her on the big screen soon, Netflix shows, Hulu, everything. If you're blessed with a gift, you should use it. I got a lot on my mind, but my brother, I told me to stick to the music. She used to give me my knowledge, but I still develop my craft back in college. While I had pain to acknowledge, demons was holding me hostage, but I broke free cause I'm solid. Crazy, I'm mad at my family, toxic. Hell of division. They see I'm leveling up on my goals. Or a petition And all of my problems I faced it Lately I'm trying to be patient and stick to the plan I was down in the dirt from my struggles I had in the past Now I feel like the man speaking the truth So I am here on Justin's shoot For his neoprene uh, childhood type of uh, fashion collection That he's dropping for this summer And they are just having a blast in the back It's so fun because we're in Coney Island It is actually my first time ever here and I'm from New York and I've never been here ever, but <laughs> it's cute. It's very cute here. I know it gets active, but it's cute. Let me see the footwork. Let me see the footwork. 
<laughs> so we just got some props. I got ice cream. Y'all know I love ice cream. I shouldn't even be eating this because I'm lactose intolerant, but I'm being bad today. It's just for the photo shoot. And we got a lollipop kind of candy. And we're getting french fries. And we're at the stand right now. I feel like I time traveled maybe like 15 years back. That's crazy to say that I was, I was like 11, 11 years old at that time. Should we try to get like some of the shots with the cotton candy and the uh, swirl right now? Cause this is melting. Thank you so much for helping me with the photo shoot and doing behind the scenes and giving me ideas and motivating me and inspiring me. What's some of your goals for the summer? Some of my goals for the summer, definitely shoot more, model more. More modeling opportunities? Yeah, make more money, be outside a lot, mm -hmm. me, make some new connections, socialize more. Let's be, be in a better position where I was last summer. I love that, bro. The photo is not playing. You make sure you got some fries. I need to do it. Chelsea got the lollipop. Right lollipop. Here. Sugar red. Got Molly got the cotton candy. Can't go wrong with that. Um, a little less. A little less look. All right, okay. Listen, if y'all have a talent and a gift, give it back to the universe because the universe is going to keep blessing you and rewarding you. Right here. Yo, bro, I appreciate you pulling up, bro. Oh, of course. Yo, tell, them, tell them where they can follow you at on IG and everything. Tell them what uh, you do. You can follow me at Dakota Kali. I'm, uh, I'm born in Brooklyn, you feel me? I'm, uh, I guess, going into graphic design, multimedia artist, mm. uh, model. Basketball, you know, I just do be everything, outside. You everything, know? you're outside. You feel me? That's a fact. And what's one thing you would tell tell somebody who's like younger, who's trying to step into the creative space? Um, any form of advice? You just gotta. There's no limits. You know what I mean? You just gotta put yourself out there. Mm. I feel like if you send the energy, the energy's gonna come back to you. Like, uh, you know, I met Justin on some random shit just at my school. Facts. Uh, so, you know, you just gotta open yourself up to the connections, and I feel like they're done. Nah, I appreciate that, bro. Yeah, of course. Uh, the photo shoot came out so fire. I'm so happy I got to collaborate with a new photographer, but I wanted to know, and I'm sure the audience wants to know, what is one big form of advice you could give to people or any young people who's trying to step into the creative field? Mm, that's a great question. Yeah. Um, I think I would actually boil it down to two. I think the first thing, honestly, is just to get out there. And this, this advice applies to not even young people new anybody. to the industry. It really is anybody, especially to those who are more seasoned in their industry as well. Honestly, just always get out. Don't be so precious about your, like, don't really don't be so precious about your work in a sense. It's, I think the important thing is to just get out there find people who you like to collaborate with and just and the most important thing is just to do so so do whatever it takes to make it easy and not difficult on yourself so that what I would say is my first main point and then the second is just to find connect with peers you know I think that is something that a lot of people disregard sometimes they feel like they need to network with the the, the higher ups you know because it feels mm. like they're going to give you the jobs mm -hmm. it helps you climb vertically but honestly in my in my experience in my experience there is so much value in connecting horizontally mm. and so find people who if you're a photographer find fellow photographers if you're a designer find fellow designers because you know what's going to happen is that when they get an opportunity that they actually cannot make anymore what can happen is that they can recommend you and that they become the ones who put your name into the room and so what i see is sometimes vertical can be great for mentorship and for yeah, knowing what's up there, yeah. but knowing the horizontal. possibilities. Yeah. Exactly, knowing the possibilities up there, but horizontal and connecting with peer. There is so much strength in community, and so that. yeah, make friends, make I friends. I love that, yo. Thank yeah. you so much for that. Of course, guys. We have Chelsea here. What do you usually do when you feel unmotivated or you don't have any sense of direction and you just need to uplift yourself? What are some things that you do to keep yourself going? <sighs> That's a really great question because I feel like that happens to me pretty often. Like, I second guess myself. And I feel like in those moments, I really like to just sit with myself. I like to read um, spiritual books, The Power of Now, The Seed of the Soul, some of my favorite books. 
and I just like to write and listen to music and I feel like that normally like gets me right and gets me back in a centered and grounded place and yeah I'm able to start fresh and start new yeah I'm so excited I can't wait to see how the photos come out but I just want to tell you how your collaboration is so important like it's so important to connect with people it's so important to build your portfolio and not be attached to the end result so much sometimes we get so caught up in the big picture and we're like yo I want to be here I want to be here but you just got to enjoy the process and I'm telling you once you have fun with the process and you just stay consistent yo, a lot of things will unfold for you yeah. <laughs> All right, okay, so I guess we're after the shoot now and I kind of just want to know because this was my first time working with an ensemble of models really. I've only ever really collaborated with one person before. You did a great and job. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, I, thank you. So I'm, I'm really, yeah, I would just love to hear like very open to feedback. So if you guys have any sorts of um, feedback on how maybe I as a photographer could have been better um, like working with working with this group of models like a yeah. bigger group so yeah we'll honestly love to hear I will start off by saying that you are one of the most different photographers that I've ever worked out worked with and I can't even put it into words because it's hard to like some <laughs> photographers are chill but yes. they're more laid back mm -hmm. they're but very the fact introverted sometimes yeah. mm -hmm. but you were extremely extroverted and Excited yeah, we. I love how you did the icebreaker. Energy, we yes. had an icebreaker. Uh, you asked everybody their names. Um, you asked if everybody had siblings. Do we, does anybody do artwork outside of what they do right now? And I love that you had a stretching. You yes. made us yeah, feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I never had a photographer tell never. me to stretch. <laughs> really? Never, yeah. never, never. Oh my gosh. And it was fun because you know it just feels like we're in our first day of gym class in middle school. Or yes. Like that's you the vibe that I got. The, the essence of what it is, the childlike essence oh, to good. it too. Your energy really brought that because again that's what this whole entire shoot was about for Justin. It's about an overall brand. Your, 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 overall yeah, brand. Yeah. Overall yeah. brand. And you were able to come in with such a burst of like energy and light, excitement yeah. and light Aww. that just is like you need that. Yeah. Not many photographers are like that. Okay. Sometimes they're very cutthroat, which is not bad. Mm -hmm. But you were just such a vibrant energy. Well, thank you. Damn, here I was looking for criticism. Y'all be like, oh, let's yeah. honey roast her. You did of course. it excellent. Aw, thank you. Well, you know what? It's funny because so, someone was joking how like, oh, are we doing suicides? I mean, on my way here. <laughs> yeah, I thought Can't it was in lie. basketball practice. <laughs> Can't lie. But you know what? Because that, that, that's actually surprising almost. Because I, for me, I come from film, right? Mm. Like I come from cinematography background and I've seen what other directors have done in film sets with their whether if it's like singers or if it's on a music video or, or, or a shoot or whatever and especially like I feel like because so many of us don't know each other right right and so like like we're talking about fun we're talking about play mm -hmm. for our shoot but if the if there's no trust and if there's no mm -hmm. comfort yet like I wouldn't even have felt comfortable really mm -hmm. with the models if and we so, just jumped in it yeah I was like I feel like I need this for myself you wow. know that's yeah, like, that shows that you have great like leadership skills and you yeah, take initiative. Thank you. So you should definitely like lean into that more because if you start doing that in other spaces, people mm -hmm. are gonna trust you to lead yeah. in other areas mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. And that's why like now that we did this, I'm like, yo, I know if I'm gonna work with you in the future, you're gonna make everybody feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. So that's that's a quality that I'm definitely gonna look for. Um, in people, of course, the talent, but of course, who you are as a person. Yes. Because that's what expands the art. That's what continues and grows the conversation, and that's what allows us to expand in, in the art field in itself. Mm, nice. Well done. Well put. <laughs> yeah. So I just wanted to go over some of the highlights. I just wanted to go over the highlights from yesterday. Guys, you don't always have to work with the biggest models or the most successful people in the industry. I literally found Molly on TikTok. We tapped in through there. We were commenting on each other's stuff. I think he came across my design work and he commented on my stuff one day. I followed him back and I've been in tune with him. And I was like, you know what? Let me just write this down in my journal, or write it down in my phone. And I had him in the back of my mind for a long period of time. And I was like, Yo, I got to use him one day. So this shoot came up. Kathy hit me up out of nowhere. Mind you, we worked with each other three years ago and then we were able to connect. And the best part about it is that she had a flight to catch the same exact day, which shows her sense of urgency, which shows how much she's determined to get work done. And then just build our portfolios. Dakota, I met him at Wesleyan College because I had the amazing opportunity to go there and speak with the students um, who are part of the fashion club, I believe. And there were about 20 students. And
and it was really amazing because I got to connect with students as well and some people might think they're too good to go to college. I'm 26 and I was around a whole bunch of I guess 19 year olds like 21 year olds or 18 year olds to 21 year olds and for me I'm like yo I want to be able to go and learn from these students as well too. You can never be in a position where you're too good to be learning from somebody who has more experience, less experience, younger, older, whatever. It doesn't matter. You can learn from any space, any any type of environment. And the fact that I met Dakota at Wesleyan College on a panel that I was talking on, um, I hit him up and he was down to come out and shoot with me as well. And honestly, I just love that we are all interconnected in so many different ways and there's not just one specific way to build your portfolio. There's always a way to make it work. One of the biggest lessons that I'm learning in my life right now is that I don't always have to know what I'm getting when I'm doing something new with my craft. Like, I don't have to think about, all right, if I start doing this music video, I'm going to get this opportunity to do this, that, and the third. Like, you shouldn't expect anything out of something that you enjoy. I'm just making music because I love expressing myself through that medium. Like, it's just a form of therapy for me. I love being able to have different topics and ideas that people can relate to and we have conversations about it. I love making clothes because I love expressing myself. I love wearing items that I made because it allows me to feel confident and I'm able to wear anything that I want at any given moment as opposed to just going to the store, store and spending money. Um, I love, I used to love to draw and paint as a kid because it just made me feel free. And I think when you step into that purpose and you just remind yourself that I'm able to do this because I can and I have the freedom to, there's so many opportunities and possibilities that come from it. Stop worrying about what the norm is, what everybody else is doing. Just follow what you feel is best for your career, yourself, your happiness, your mental health. And I promise things will flow and follow through. You're going to get opportunities in many different ways. And the people in the industry who made it really far, a lot of them did not have specific blueprints when they broke barriers and they did things for the first time. They were just following what was right for them. I'm also excited too because I really want to start collaborating with different artists in New York, outside of New York and different places, different countries. And I'm gonna start traveling more as well too. So if you're a creative photographer, stylist, um, model, uh, please feel free to reach out to me in my email. I prefer email much more than Instagram DMs because sometimes we get crazy. But uh, in terms of being more professional and just being on top of the information, I'd love to collaborate with anybody who is building their portfolio and who has a great body of work as well. And lastly, I just want to thank everybody who came out yesterday to Coney Island. It was so last minute. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Chelsea, Dakota, Molly. And thank you so much, Belina, for being by my side and giving me ideas and uplifting me. Even when I was tired yesterday, I slept for three hours and I literally woke up at 7.30, went to the shoot, came back home, took a nap for like an hour and a half and then went to work. So... It's not always glamorous. I'm not always like excited and happy. I was so tired yesterday. I didn't even want to go to work, but you know, you still got to get that money and have balance. Um, but Belina, I really appreciate you helping me. And you are always there by my side when I need you most. Um, and for those of y'all who know as well, it's so important to catch behind the scenes so that people can see the process. I just want to show the process more so that you all can see how things are done when things are happening last minute. And just the fun side of things. It's not always about being serious and, you know, I'm not, I'm not into that. We got to have fun as well, too, while we're doing what we love.